staff and friends, welcome to Cheney University for this spirit celebration. Now, in an African tradition, we always open with the welcome song and the welcome dance. Now, what I'm, I'm going to ask of you is to participate in a call and response, which is also an African tradition. And the name of the welcome song and dance is called the Funga. Everybody say that. The Funga. And this is the way it goes. Funga la fie, Funga. Funga la fie, Funga. Funga la fie, Ashe, Ashe. Funga la fie, Ashe, Ashe. Of 1998 that was in that orientation program last year. Where are they? Anybody from the class of 1998? All right. We like to take this time. We we wanted to try something new this year. Joan, work with me. We like to take this time this year. We wanted to initiate something new by having a spirit rally. For those who are out on the far part of the choir, we need you guys to come closer. We need you guys to come closer. At this time, we'd like to have the uh, Parade of Tradition, which is going to be led by Miss Deanna Shelton. And we'd like to welcome the Cheney University Alumni Parade of Tradition. Should we, should we? It's representing 1981. 
1974, we have from the science department, Dr. Maddox. From the math department, we have Mrs. Carter from 72. From admissions, we have Mrs. Cannon from 71. 1970 was a very good year. <laughs> we have Mrs. Bennett from English, Mrs. Baldwin from the Academic uh, Support Center. We have from 1968, Dr. Kapoor from Technology. We have two alumni from 53 who want very much to welcome you. Okay. So imagine that that same group of graduates were probably sneaking in and out of King, Truth, Tubman, Yarnell, and the whole nine yards. At this time, we'd like to have the singing. Uh, lift every voice and sing voices as we can, as much as we can, to get everyone inside. Okay, we need... Uh, so Thank you very much. Now, at this time, we're going to have different representatives from different areas come in and give us some brief for our freshman class. In each of these organizations, the former Miss Cheney is going to come up. And I have, I'm looking for a couple other people. Let's get those people here on the stage. Do I have my reps from student government? Where's my reps from student government? Ms. Why not? The former Miss Cheney. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to see all these faces out here to the class of 1999. I feel as though I always have an obligated um, sentiment to the freshman class. I share with the freshman class of last year. I love you guys still. People now. Anyway, to the class of 1999. 1999, wow, that's the dawn of a new millennium. So you have a stronger obligation. You have to be willing to stand up and be counted. You have to be ready to be successful and ride the wave because it's the dawn of a new era. And if you doubt your ability to do so, remember that in your family line is the memory of those who were born into barren lands and built pyramids. Remember that in the cells of your bloodstream is the consciousness of those who stood on auction blocks, found their way to the forest, and took their case to the Supreme Court. Remember that you move in the power of a mighty past and must create a more powerful future. Always remember our foremothers and our forefathers, such as Crispus Attucks, and I said, to, I said this to the class of 1988, Crispus Attucks fell so that Sojourner Truth could stand. Sojourner Truth stood so that Rosa Parks could sit. Rosa Parks sat so that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X could walk. 
Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X walked so that Shirley Chisholm and Jesse Jackson could run. Shirley Chisholm and Jesse Jackson ran so that we, my brothers and sisters, could fly. The class of 1999, you are on the wave of a new era. You're on the wave of a new millennium. God bless you, and I wish you all the best of luck here at Cheney University of Pennsylvania. All the freshmen, all the ones that like me and don't like me, get to like me because you will need me. Believe me. <laughs> now, um, my name is Jacqueline King. For all who does not know me, um, I'm an RA at Tubman. I'm the president of the International Club, and I want to get this straight. Everybody is international, so don't be afraid to come out and join. Um, get involved with all student activities. Activities don't sit around and say there's nothing to do because it's always something to do. If you can't find nothing to do, call your roommates, other people on your floor, and plan something to do. Um, my time's up. Oh. I'm the president of the Cheney University Council, the Panhellenic Council. Um, for all the Greeks in the house, just say your call so everybody will know. <laughs> what you've just heard is the sound of what have traditionally been the leaders in <clears throat> um, Spride and the, the go-getters on the campuses around the United States. And hopefully that's something that we want to continue here. We are the Greeks on this campus. Look forward to leading you in your struggles. My name is Deborah Dela Cruz. I'm a senior here at Cheney. Uh, I'm president of the, the new Latino club on campus. It's called Latino Students in Action. So if anyone who is interested in the Spanish culture, please join us. We have a lot of activities planned for this semester. Um, also, uh, I would like to, uh, I've been participating in the freshman orientation uh, program for three years now, and I would like to thank every, all the freshmen who have participated in all the activities that we had planned for you guys. And I hope y'all have a new year. And if anybody interested in, in my club, you are um, contacted in room 124 in Truth. Okay, so have a great year. Uh, I know they had a one o'clock meeting. Okay, for those who are out here, we want to say welcome for those other organizations. Now I'd like to have the faculty and staff, those people on faculty and staff. With you a personal experience. 11 years ago, I had brain surgery. When I came out of it, I was dyslexic, couldn't read, decided to start a master's, I mean, a PhD program at Temple University, deciding that if I couldn't do it, I didn't deserve to be here in the classroom. I want you to know that last year I earned my PhD. It took 11 years, but I made it. I bring greetings to you guys from the Office of Student Activities. As always, I like to reinforce that while you're here at Cheney University, that you should be here for the main purpose of getting an academic, ex having an academic experience, but also while you're here gaining that academic experience to not sit idle in your rooms, but to come out and participate. And in student activities, as you see now in the, in the student center with our Welcome Back Fair and the activity that we had last night, that we are here to serve you from an activity Good afternoon, everyone, faculty and staff. I'm very glad to see you, students. Of course, I see you all the time. Um, I wish you all, everyone, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, the very best of luck. Have a good semester. My interest and focus this year is unity. I'm Priscilla Pearson, the Vice President for Development. I welcome the incoming freshmen and welcome back the returning students. I just want to remind the students, as I always do, that you're in a very special place. Cheney University is the oldest institution of education for black students. That's right. <laughs> Founded in 1837. And like I'm Clinton Pettis, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Welcome everybody to a renewed spirit at Cheney University. Keep it going. Have fun this year but don't lose sight of the academic prize. Take good care. Come by to see me in 317. Thanks a lot. Two staff members, Mrs. West, who is our scholarship person, and Mrs. Shields, who's our work study person. They have some announcements to make to you. I just want to let you know that I am uh, in charge of scholarships, so everyone here should come to see me periodically. There will be scholarship information posted throughout the, the campus, but of course, most of the information will be in the financial aid office, so don't make it your last stop with registration. 
always come to the financial aid office so you can find out what's going on. Do we have any scholarship recipients here? Any freshman scholarships? Work study, work study begins on Monday. Psych. <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday, if you'll come to the financial aid office from three to six, we'll be happy to give you an assignment. and I'm coordinator of the Academic Assistance Center located in Brown Hall. And I want all the students to know that we are ready to serve you. We're ready to provide academics in a user-friendly environment. So now we're letting you know that we're up and running. We're open for registration this week. And Good afternoon and welcome uh, freshmen. My name is Hank Hamilton. I'm a professor of music and chair of the Fine Arts Department. And with me today I have two of my uh, professors who are, I think may have a word for you. Uh, the Fine Arts Department consists of uh, philosophy, art, theater, and drama. And the Cheney University Band needs to grow. We want to grow and we need you. So please be encouraged to come by the Marion Anderson Music Center, which is right by the football field. Everybody should know. Well, Alan, I'm the executive assistant to the president and I'm also the affirmative action officer. The affirmative action officer can help you if you have problems with sexual harassment or ethnic intimidation or any other discrimination problems. I hope that you won't come to me specifically for that. I hope that sometimes you would just come up on the third floor in room 310 and say hello. Again, my name is Pamela Allen. And remember that being here is a privilege. It's not a right. So you should abuse it and continue the Cheney tradition of excellence. Congratulations and welcome, class of 1999. Brock and Brown from the business office. And we all know how important the business office is. Uh, <laughs> we all know how important the business office is uh, during our time here at Cheney University. But I want to remind you that um, since you are students, you are also consumers. Therefore, you should be making sure that you get your money's worth, as with any other venture. So if you, if you don't understand your bill, if you don't understand your financial aid, make sure that someone explains it to you. Stay focused, work hard, and above all, well, not above all. Stay focused, work hard, and enjoy the party. Goodbye, class, for the first week of school. Can I get a hope? That's better. Welcome to Cheney University, the nation's oldest black university of higher education. Those of you who live in Yarnum Hall, of course, we represent the best. Even though we have problems right now, uh, I encourage each of you, as, as everyone has said. Hi, I'm Luke Nero, university librarian. I'd like to get a show of hands. How many people have seen the movie Higher Learning? Last night. Okay, you should remember, knowledge is what? Power. Truth is freedom. Part of that knowledge and part of that truth, the mo one of the most important pieces of knowledge and truth is knowledge and truth about yourself. One of the most important pieces about the, the, of knowledge about yourself is your own power. If you delegate your power to somebody else, in other words, if you blame someone else for your mistakes, if you blame someone else for your failures, then you also have to give them credit for your successes. So, now let me give you one little exercise that you can perform late at night just before you go to bed. What you need to do, what I suggest that you do, <laughs> hey, excuse me being a little long-winded, because I'm in a library, I get to look at all those books all the time, and I just have to print it out somewhere. But anyhow, I I'm going to cut it short. Look in the mirror before you go to bed, before you go to sleep. Look in the mirror for about a minute and tell yourself, I am in charge. Okay, peace. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. For those who don't know me, my name is Rob Davis. I'm president of Student Government Cooperative Association Incorporated, the individual whom you've elected to represent you. And um, I will do just that. This job to make you aware, to help you be aware, and to help you utilize that awareness. You have a lot of faculty here that care for you and that look out for you. And so we also need to work hand in hand, you know, unified, so that we can make Cheney become what it needs. I'm Gloria Grantham, the Associate Provost, and I am also a Cheney graduate. What I want for each of you is 
the least that I want for each of you is the best that I received from Cheney, and that is that I graduated. It is a start for you. One of my main responsibilities is retention. That means I will see that each <laughs> I'm going to repeat some words I gave to the freshmen when they entered here, and I give them to the upperclassmen. Students flunk out of school in the first six weeks. By that I mean you get behind and you never catch up. So I'm going to be very short and say this. When I was in school, they used to have a saying. I went to school right down the road from here, Lincoln University. And they used to have a saying, they say, stay around to see the grass grow green. Now, if you know what that means, the grass grows green in the springtime. Don't just be a one semester student. Don't go back to Philadelphia and say, man, I sure had a great time that semester I spent out there changing while you're on the corner for the second semester. So I urge you to get in the books now, stay in them, be around to see the grass grow green, not for 1996, but through 1999. And the commencement, I think, is the platform is, is just about in this, this area right here. And I want to see you, if I'm not here, I want to see you march across the stage come June of 1999. I wish you the very best. Company and the singing and Mr. Devane. Give a hand to our band crew and all our freshmen. Let's thank them. Yay! Dr. Grant from the Verbal Meeting for working to put it together. Our student rep for coming out. Let's have a great semester.